Roblox Funky Friday has been receiving some much needed updates, and with the recent addition of the deathmatch mode, it looks to add even more game mechanic features, which the game desperately needs. Today we'll be going over 8 game modes that would completely transform Funky Friday and make the game shine like it used to be. If you agree, smack that like and consider subscribing for more. Let's get right into that list. Number 1, Battle Mode. Funky Friday is a rap battle game in which you rap battle against an opponent, but what if we spice things up by throwing in an item system where you can use special power-ups in order to gain an advantage over your arch rival? These days, it seems like skill leads to wins, but this mode would give newer and less experienced players a chance to have fun and even get the chance to win against seasoned pros too. Similar to Mario Kart's item system, skill is not the only thing you have to worry about when playing this game mode. How it would work is occasionally during the charting of the song, there would be special arrows called item arrows that appear. If the player hits the item arrow in item box with a roulette, will randomly spin an item to help the player. You can use a space button on PC to use the item or on mobile there will be a designated button for the power up. Xbox players can use a trigger or a more convenient button as well. Items would be similar to the streamer versus chat mod that some FNS mod streamers use and they would include items such as mines in which the player can summon random mines on the opponent's chart to decrease their score or HP when in battle mode, jack spam in which the opponent will receive a random roll of jacks during the song, flip, this would cause both players to swap places on stage and also switch chartings too, and many more items as such. This mode would not only be fun to play, but it would constantly bring a new gameplay experience due to the random luck of the items being summoned, so the game wouldn't feel repetitive at all, leading to a high replayability factor for this mode. Number 2, Competitive Mode. There's a lot of pros out there on Funky Friday that just gets win after win, which can be a bit unfair to newer players in certain servers. Well, here's a game mode idea. Competitive mode. There would be a new building in the map in which players can walk into and they can walk into a portal leading them to a competitive hub. Each player would receive the same starting ELO ranking and each win would increase their ranking. Competitive mode would match any two players currently searching in a match together, providing their similar skill levels via the ranking and they would be teleported to a 1v1 stage to battle it out. There would also be a separate leaderboard showcasing the top competitive players based on their ELO rating as well, which would be a great alternative for players who want to play at a higher level against others around their similar skill levels. Number 3, Co-op Mode. There's been some talk about this mode in the past being added, but this mode is self-explanatory. Instead of a 1 versus 1 rap battle against an opponent, there would be a stage or two in game that would allow a 2 versus 2 battle. Everything would work the same with a 1v1, but instead, the scores will be added together and be counted as a team score. The winning team would have a higher combined score than the other, which means both players have to perform well in order to win the competition. Now there is some good news about this mode because the developers actually did mention that 2v2 was not denied, so we might be able to see this be added into Funky Friday at some point. Like imagine a 2v2 battle mode though, that would be so chaotic. Number 4, Knockout Mode. This one would be great for parties, but imagine having a knockout mode in Funky Friday. This would work with another building in the map that would have four players search for opponents and teleport them to a self-designated map with four separate single stages. The players can choose songs, but the system would pick their selections at random and have all four players play the same song on the same side. That way there would be no room for error or any misadvantages. The rest is pretty simple, all four players would be playing their matches and the person with the lowest score at the end would get knocked out and be kicked from the playing session, continuing on with three players. This would eventually lead to a 1v1 at the end and the player would win a big jackpot of about 300 points for surviving the mode for so long. This mode would be great for those trying to grind more points for more animations and emotes and it would reward those who tough it out as well. Losers could win a small bonus though too so they don't leave with nothing. Number 5, Boss Mode. Imagine playing Funky Friday, but instead of rap battling against each other, everyone in the server was able to rap battle together as a team against a giant boss that spawns in the middle of the map. The idea of this would be to have a group of 10 battlers, or even a whole server if it's feasible, to rap battle against a random giant boss. 
A combined group score would have to be met in order to defeat the boss, but it's not as easy as it sounds. The boss would be throwing attacks and projectiles at the players as they are rap battling, so they would have to dodge the attacks by pressing the spacebar or the designated buttons. If the players get hit two to three times, they would be out of the contention and would no longer be able to contribute points to the group. If the players successfully beat the boss, they would have the chance to win a special effect version of the boss's animation, or they could win a big point bonus as well. This would be similar to the Monica HD mod in which Monica would be trying to hit the boyfriend and he had to dodge. This mode would be amazing especially for holiday special events and they could add even more customization to the animations already in the game. Number 6, Full Combo Mode. This one is self-explanatory, huge thanks to K4S for the suggestion, but they suggested this. Full Combo Mode. Normal servers, solo resets you upon missing one note. Like Deathmatch, it can be used in 1v1s if both have it enabled. Add an indicator icon above somebody's head to show if they have Full Combo Mode on. Same thing with Deathmatch to make it easier to find people who want to play that mode. And for VIP servers, it restarts the song without oofing the player if possible. This would be a very difficult mode made specifically for rhythm game veterans who want to push their skills to the max. This would be similar to the Miss Game mode from Monday Morning Misery, but this mode would be unique because it requires full combos from the players. One thing Funky Friday could do for normal servers is if one player fails the challenge, the song will keep going and still have that person reset, but the other one who hadn't failed the challenge yet can keep going to finish the challenge. That would be a great workaround. Number 7 at Stamina Mode. Again, another really great suggestion by MS Gone Pot, but they had suggested this. Since Funky Friday are having game modes, I have a suggestion of rapping the longest. How it works is like deathmatch mode, by loops and slowly gets faster, like increasing the beats per minute. The person the last the longest wins. This would be another version of the knockout mode, but instead of choosing a new song each time, the same song will be looped over and over, getting progressively faster and faster as time goes on. I would have the song go faster exponentially through a timed mechanism than having it go faster each loop though, but this would be a really fun party mode to play, and it would be surprising to see how fast people can play and last towards the end. And number 8, Juggernaut Mode. Very similar to the Juggernaut Mode from Arsenal in which one person was stronger than the others, this mode would have three players team up against one player whose score is tripled for each note they hit. This also means that they will lose three times more points if they miss, and the group of three would have to get a higher combined score than the Juggernaut to win. If Funky Friday is adding a 2v2 mode, this would be another fun team mode to add in along with that in another future update. Those are 8 game modes that need to come to Funky Friday. Which mode would you want to come first? Comment down below, smack that like so the developers can see this, and subscribe as well, and we'll see you all on the next one.